what is cheaply made, but sold at a ridiculous price. College textbooks on their 2nd to 100th edition. It's annoying because they could keep the same textbook and allow students to pass them on to the next generation of college students but no, they have to create a new book each time and make it a requirement to have that new book. I mean I've had professors that told us which older editions would work but next generation wouldn't fly for a lot of subjects. A lot of material is very new. Printer cartridges. Out of ink? Guess I'll just buy a new printer. Lil fun fact. The cartridge and new printers are mostly just one half or one quarter filled. Any cable, USB, me etc. They cost pennies to make. Company I used to work for would give us cables at the price they purchased them for. I would get HDMI and cell phone cables that would retail at $15 $20 for around $1 $2. Where did the company get them from where it's that cheap? Carbonated beverages and popcorn are what keep restaurants and movie theaters in business. And candy. Lots of candy. Which also keeps dentists in business. Macube that crap is produced cheap, especially the high-end brands. This. Most cosmetics in general basically. Part of why most Macube stores have such relaxed return policies. Aisha Dow palettes cost like 20 cents each to manufacture and sell for $50. So how does one DIY that item? Baby clothes are marked up by 1000% on average. No kidding. Buying clothes at Christmas for my niece, nephew, and stepson was flooring. Now we have another one on the way. I'm hoping hand-me-downs will be like 90% of the clothing we have for it. If you're not opposed try thrifting. I have a 3 month old and got most of their clothes at thrift shops. Most are barely used, and last trip I even got some with the tags on. All for about $1 slash item. Insulin. It's criminal how much they charge compared to the manufacturing costs. Not just that, but the fact that the dude that did the research just gave away the patent not like they are recouping research costs. Sodium chloride fourth bags in hospitals in the United States. It costs less than $1 to make, but hospitals can charge over dollar sign $200 plus per bag. $500 per bag, or so I have seen on medical records. Every hospital is different due to shenanigans with various insurance companies. Bottled water. Damn. I feel like it's more expensive than we think. Filtering and legal work and such. But, yeah. For sure. HMM is someone from a country where water from taps comes from the same place as the bottled water comes from. I'm pretty sure they are definitely raking in the money. Glasses. I watched a video on the sunglasses slash glasses slash I were industry in middle school economics and we've been scammed this entire time. I was a certified optician and ran a lens lab for pural vision in the early 2000s. Our most expensive frames, excluding the weird harmony crap we carried cost us $20 $30 per frame. They sold for $200 $400 depending. Our cheapest frames cost us $2 3 each and none sold for less $50. The lenses, that's a lot of markup. I started in a brand new store and we had a brand new lab full of Vesela hardware. Latest and greatest at the time. Standard lenses, nothing special just the standard CR32 plastic in a typical prescription. They cost $2 or so, and we charged $40 each. So a basic pair of glasses cost us $8 in materials, and was sold for $130. The worst markup was on the high-end lenses. At P-Roll, at that time, the top end were the MTPROL lenses. Macrothin polycarbonate spheric lenses with anti-scratch and anti-reflective coating. Basically, if you have a strong prescription, plus roughly 3 or so, a spheric can make a much thinner and lighter lens that can give you the same vision a thicker traditional lens does. Add an anti-scratch, dollar sign, anti-reflective, dollar sign, and the cost of the lenses alone were around $400 for the customer. p Vision's cost for the lens blanks? $23. The entire cost of the SLR equipment in the lens lab at my location was only ROUGHLY$25000 and we regularly sold $800 plus glasses. And, the part that I really hate, Mainaka, Main Medicare, at the time wouldn't provide coverage for anti-scratch coating, it was technically an upgrade. 
We couldn't buy lens blanks that didn't have it. My instructions were to strip the anti-scratch coating when making lenses for Manica clients. I ran the lab. Guess what I never did. I'm a 8.25 and at almost 40 years old, I've only now hit the place where I can pay for my glasses in one payment. I'm even more grateful that my parents could afford to pay for my glasses as a kid. I don't think I got plastic lenses until I was in high school. Glass all the way. I'll never forget learning that the movie theater I worked at paid $5 for a 24 pack of Dasani bottles. We charged $4.50 for one. It's filtered tap water they are being ripped off paying the $5 a few more steps of profit in that. Made 4 pennies. EP pens. They cost like 2 bucks to make and then are sold for like $150. Paid $400 2 years ago. After 2 years and with an expiration date looming, I start looking for opportunities to run into bees just so I can feel like I got my freaking money's worth. Maybe I'll finally visit that botanical garden I've been wanting to check out during the spring. I made this joke the last time I saw my allergist and he laughed at first. But a few minutes later I saw him frantically searching for coupons. Barrettes, hair clips and other bits of plastic that hold your hair in place. I get these at dollar stores because the high-end pharmacies charge way too much. Pharmacies charge way too much on everything. My local pharmacy sells mucinex for like $20 on the shelves, but if you ask the pharmacist for straight guaifenazin, it's $3. Same med. If you need a cough suppressant, you can buy rabitis in cough gels. Babies. Both adopting and buying a baby on the black market takes serious money. The biggest cost associated with a baby is the ongoing maintenance costs. And the years it siphons off your life in the crying phase. Ibuprofen at a hospital. Yeah, we just went and got this bottle from the dollar store for $4. Oh, that patient needs two of them? Sure, charge their bill $88. Your dollar store might be included in this list, if a bottle costs $4. What's the average cost for ibuprofen OTC? I double checked, our bottle was $7.50, which I figured was the norm for 500 tablets that are 200mg each. Someone once said they asked the company why they were selling their product for $200, if it costs $10 to make it? And the company responded, because people buy them for $200. Reminds me of a guy who worked for Bethesda being asked why they don't make a new Elder Scrolls game. He answered pretty plainly, because people are still willing to buy Skyrim. Probably the same reason for no GTA 6. New build houses in the UK. Built by the lowest bidder, to the lowest standards possible. Crammed in so densely that two detached houses can be less than 18 inches apart. The biggest scam is that the developers try to sell the house but retain ownership of the land that it's built on, then charge rent for the land. For this crap they want a minimum of PS 350,000. Leasehold really is a horrible concept. Freaking leasehold. This is the dumbest idea I've ever seen. One week prior to a closing in Illinois, our bank called us and said that the seller didn't disclose it was a leasehold property. It wasn't on any of the initial filings. They immediately turned our financing down. Even told us no other banks in the area would consider it and to walk away. Diamonds. Natural diamonds are made for free in nature and harvested using slave labor. Lab created diamonds still cost 45% less. Grey Goose alcohol. Didn't they make the bottles taller so they would only fit on the top shelf? Ingenious. Yes. Also, it's the same quality as Smirnoff, and was priced as an average alcohol and wasn't selling. So I like they made the bottles longer for the top shelf and triple the price making it seem more upscale. Most fast fashion. A pair of jeans that costs $4 to produce, but costs $40 for you to buy, is a 1000% markup. I got a pair of jeans when I visited America. I paid maybe $30 for them and wore them for 10 years. Best jeans I've ever owned. They were threadbare by the time I was ready to part with them. I wasn't ever able to find the brand online when I wanted to replace them. Wish I'd gotten multiple pairs. Wranglers work jeans. The cheap ones. Or their bargain brand rustlers. 
they last a lot longer than name brand fashion because they are made for real work. Perfume or cologne imagine how much it would be in the liters. Chrysler made a prototype turbine powered car in the 1960s. It wasn't very efficient, as no turbines were in the 60s, and they bragged that they had run it on channel number 5 at a car show in France. That had to be the most expensive liquid fuel any motor vehicle ever ran on. Wasn't there a prototype car made to run on pure nitrous? Glaucoma Rye drops about $379 for a tiny bottle of the prescription treatment. You could fly to a country like India and get a bunch of bottles, same if not better quality, and fly back, and it would save you money, would have to be like a dozen or more, but you get the point. This reminds me of a story from last year, it's cheaper for someone in India to fly round trip to Dubai to buy an iPhone 12 than it is to just buy one locally. Those $350 Nikes cost maximum 20 bucks to make, shipping included. Oh, and the $1500 ones also cost about 20 bucks to make. Yeah but, those slaves Nike hires aren't going to whip themselves. You know why Nike is so woke. So you won't notice they have a huge plantation full of slaves in 2021. Beans too. She's a woke queen, but she uses slave labor to make her merchandise. Most luxury brands with huge obvious logos on them. Guxy t-shirts. If I wanted a logo I'd just get a Guxy logo and iron it onto a white t-shirt. Why the hell would I pay $300 for one? Why do I get the feeling that Guxy is the brand mostly for fake rich, using credit card debt and loans to pretend to be rich? Many mattresses, especially memory foam ones. Paid 200 for a memory foam mattress from Amazon. Easily better than the 500 mattress my mom. Got me got college. Yeah screw you, mom. Vokes were gen ignition cylinders. When I worked at VW, we had to constantly order ignition switches, because either they are cheaply designed or cheaply made. So when we would place the order from Volkswagen in North America, it gets shipped directly from the manufacturer, either Huff or Valia, and they would include the invoice in the box. Well, VW would charge the dealerships $99.95 and set MSRP at $129.95. The invoice from the manufacturer to VW showed cost to VW being $14.95. High and a tire pressure sensor, $125. Car tire pressure sensor, same part number, $25. It's the other way around in India, where Hyundai is the cheap brand and Kaya is the premium one. Crepes. We make them often at home here in France 250 g of flour, 2 eggs some milk, maybe butter, you get 25 crepes for what? 4 euros of groceries. Some street foods in Paris or other big cities will sell them 4 or 5 euros sometimes. And they buy the ingredients in big bulks at cheaper prices, so they make an even bigger margin. They make 100 euros of crepes for 3 euros of batter, and add the toppings. Let's say 7 euros for a pot of Nutella, sugar and lemon, or whatever 100 euros for 10 euros. Starks. It's well known by people who work in restaurants in France that crepes are highly profitable. Yes, but the ability to make crepes and not turn it into a pancake is what I'm paying for. It's super easy. The batter is much thinner and doesn't rise. Melted butter added to the mixture last is important and the batter can be refrigerated for days and remixed and comes out perfect still. Just don't over oil the pan get a silicone brush or something and coat the pan. A lot flipped houses. Be careful when looking at recently remodeled houses. Most of these are cheap flips with nothing more than some new paint, flooring and appliances. It becomes very apparent when you actually view the house in person and the doors don't close right, the windows are old, and everything just feels cheap. This is exactly our situation. And everything they repainted wasn't sanded first, so the paint peels if you try and clean it. My husband's mom pointed out it was cheaply redone during our tour of it but everything else we looked at in our price range we would have to flip it ourselves. We are first time homeowners. So we were like frick it, we have no idea what we are doing so let's take the cheap flip and not a huge project. It's not horrible by any means, just annoying. When you realize how cheaply some things were done. French fries slash chips slash whatever you want to call them. McDonald's buys its potatoes at around 20 cents to the pound. 
you can get about 4 medium fries, $1.79, out of a pound of potatoes. Even if transport, labor, and other overhead triples the cost that's still a profit margin well over 1000%. Margins on soda are even higher, while burgers and other items have more ingredients and complexity, and are thus more expensive to produce. Well, that is $1.50 profit. For medium fries. Sure it is out compared to 20 cents. But let's not forget that, even though that is a big profit, you would need to sell a crap ton of fries to even make it worth it. Sure McDonald's has enough money to buy potatoes at $1 by the pound, but that would mean they had to sell 80%, correct my math if I'm wrong, more. With that said, it is still cheap for us consumers to buy it from them than it would be for us to make it at home. Just throwing my two cents in. Also, potatoes don't just turn into fries. Someone needs to process them somehow, whether that's cutting by hand or just tipping them into a fancy fry cutting machine. Someone needs to fry them. Someone needs to bag them and give them to customers. This whole post is people forgetting that raw goods require people to turn them into products. And in a roundabout way this kind of thinking that fries shouldn't cost $2 because a potato costs 20 cents helps support paying the workers crap wages. Wedding cakes. Wedding cakes and things. Anything related to a wedding is double to 10x the normal cost. Stacking cakes basically triples the cost per stack. It's nuts. You're telling me there's no room to move on pasta? All starches are a scam. I beg your pardon. Pasta at restaurants. Ingredients are cheap, time and labor to make it isn't. Nor is the rent on the space to prepare and serve it. Designer dogs. It's smart, dude. Why you paying $3,000? Go to the shelter and get one for $30. I agree, as far as I'm concerned, all dogs are designer dogs. Most are just designed by the dogs. Himalayan salt in Pakistan, we get that crap in like 0.20 cents, but I've heard it being expensive in UK and US. I think it depends on the location. Here in Ontario you can buy good quality maple syrup at your local grocery store, but in most other places around the world in your local grocery store it's either a, have maple syrup, but not good enough quality b, it's fake, it's corn syrup or just c, not even there. Face masks. I would imagine it doesn't take much to make 15 of them, and with the virus, they have jacked the price up. A gas station near me started out selling them at 99c slash 41. Came in one day and they only had them 3 for $9.99. Came back a couple weeks later and they had them for 99c slash again. Popcorn at movie theaters is I think the most expensive commodity. It's also where they make the most money since big studios take a large percentage of ticket sales. Literally everything these days craps made to break faster. The one that frustrates me the most are tights for women. You know, the ones that are so thin and fragile that they rip as soon as you pull them slightly harder. They used to be nearly unrippable and people stopped buying them because everyone already had a pair. So they decided to make them last 5 minutes. My dad has 30 year old jeans that look almost new. Meanwhile I can't have a pair that lasts more than a year without the inseam shredding itself to death. McDonald's fountain drinks. Anyone's fountain drinks. The product cost is around 3 cents and the cup is around 10 cents. For most restaurants, drinks help balance the food cost for more expensive items. That's an old school one but beats by Dre. I feel like these headphones are only popular because of celebrity endorsements. It reminds me of how there's literally weights in them to make them feel more solid. Cigarettes in Canada almost and often over 20 bucks a pack am on day 2 of quitting. That was the government's goal. Tax them out of your hands. With universal health healthcare it makes sense to have cost deterrence against fricking your health up. In private insurance, their version is setting premiums based on how much they think you'll cost them. Apple products. High-end sunglasses. It likely costs Oakley less than $1 per pair to manufacture. It's actually closer to $15, $50-ish per pair, moving cost. Source was logistics for Oakley. Crocs. True, those clogs use a sorta of complicated mold but that's it. 
there's no manual labor to put them together, or fabrics or stitching. It's cheap foam. So you can find generic versions on other countries with the same quality and the cost is a couple bucks. Plasma. They plasma centers will pay the donors anywhere from $15-$25 for the donation, but will then sell the bag of plasma to a hospital for $1,000. You should probably factor in costs or processing, testing, and storing plasma in addition for labor slash nursing costs involved to procure it. With everything involved included in the calculation, it would substantially raise it over $25. No one gonna mention napalm, it's basically just polystyrene and gasoline. Well, I, for one, don't know how much they sell napalm for. American back to school shopping is a strange time of year. Actually diamonds. There are way too much of them. But they are released in small quantities, keeping their value high. Releasing small quantities is a massive myth. Diamonds are indeed a ripoff, but the majority of diamonds mined are only useful for industrial purposes. Diamonds for jewelry are expensive because of marketing, not supply. Remember that alleged art piece that was a banana duct taped to a wall that some chad just straight up ate? After its sale, while still on exhibit at Art Basel, Georgian performance artist David Detuna ate the piece, calling the intervention hungry artist. The banana was replaced later that day, no legal action was taken against him, though he was asked to leave the fair. Tatuna has stated what we perceive as materialism is nothing but social conditioning. Any meaningful interaction with an object could turn it to art. I'm a hungry artist, and I'm hungry for new interactions. From Wikipedia, Lmao. The marked up, marked up items. Beats by Dre $200. Beats by Dren in limited edition platinum blue $320. Pretty much everything sold, it's made incredibly cheaply, but sold for so much more to make a profit, but that's obvious. Yeah exactly. What would be the opposite here? What's expensive to make, but sold at about the cost of the materials? I would say anything not made by a large company. The margins on homemade goods are tiny, because we have to compete with companies who can afford to make a million of something for a penny profit each. People bash farmers markets for being overpriced, but that's really our only option. Nike Jordans. Owned many pairs over the last 25 years and nearly all of them fell apart, after about a year of casual wear. Mainly the soles separating from the shoe. For shoes that are dollar sign 125 plus, they have poor craftsmanship. Not only that, but Nike employs very sketchy production methods. Bruh, customized poster frames. Just spent $322 after the two applied discounts for two frames. I really wanted my Kingdom Hearts 1 and 3 styrofoam posters to be adorned so that's on me. My wall gonna look nice though. Pizza. It's literally flour and water with tomatoes on top. Costs pennies per pizza, especially when ingredients bought in bulk, then sold for PS 10 PS 18. You seem to be ignoring labor costs, and equipment costs, franchise fees, building lease, insurance. Shoes. As a third generation shoe repair shop owner, shoes are literally made from landfill junk. So many middle aged women crawling out of their Range Rovers and into our shop complaining that the leather on their very expensive boots is peeling off. Well yes ma'am, those $350 MK boots are made of vinyl, they are not real leather. You bought plastic. Pencils of all types. Costs so much more than it costs to make. A pack of 12 HB pencils at my local supermarket is 4 Australian dollars. That's about $0.33 each, which seems reasonable. Land Rover and Range Rover vehicles. The cars look amazing in the showroom and fall apart on the way home. They are not built to last. If you can't afford to sell it and buy a new one in two years then you can't afford one. Coffee. I can buy a bag of beans for PS5 and get like 50 cups of coffee compared to one or maybe two coffees I could buy at a cafe. Just had this one today, as a lesson to the wife. She wanted pulled pork. I said to make it, she didn't want to. We went to the store, Jack Daniels pulled pork which she loves, is $11 for 1.5 lbs. We always have to buy 2 for our family of 4. So $22 for 3 pounds. 
she didn't think that was too bad. But what we ended up getting was a £9, but roast and a bottle BBQ sauce, add our spices from home, and we are at $22 for £9 pulled pork. To buy the same amount of that Jack Daniels pulled pork would have been $66. Now we'll have 10 I shall BS of pulled pork, freeze probably 6, 7, and have meals on and off for a month. Convenience is expensive, friends. Seriously. Learn how to cook from scratch, and you'll save a ton. Teslas. I've seen too many of them after accidents in the Bay Area. Invariably, the other car looks fine, maybe a ding or two, but the Tesla gets a crushed bumper at best, near totaled at worst. Also met a guy who used to work in their factory and he says yes, Mr. Musk absolutely does skimp on materials costs. Graphing calculators. $100 for a T84 Plus that hasn't changed in 15 years, has 32C slash worth of memory and the graphics card of a Game Boy circa 1990. What pisses me off so much about it is that $100 is a genuine hardship for many families, especially when combined with all the other back to school expenses, and lowering the price of the calculators would go a long way toward helping low income families. I started a graphing calculator rental program at the high school I taught at. Starting equals finding someone to give me money to buy calculators. Students can rent a graphing calculator for a year for $10. $20 upfront with $10 returned at the end of the year. That is this so. They have the right tools for their homework. And they don't have to borrow one every day for class. I'm very proud that it's still going strong. And we have about 150 calculators now instead of the 18 we started with. We still always have more kids wanting to rent than we have calculators though. Anyway, that's all to say Frick Texas Instruments. And if you have an extra $30 $50, buy a used T84 plus off of eBay and drop it off at any high school near you with a note saying that it is for a student in need and address it to Math Depth Chair. I can guarantee they will be really grateful and will make sure that it gets into the hands of a kid who needs it. Modern car keys fobs. Absolutely no way they cost more than $50 to make. To replace one new for some brands is well over $500. Tip, chipped keys work after they are worn out. Get a basic door backslash trunk key cut and add it to the key ring with the old chipped key. The inter theft system still turns off. We had new fobs set up for us for $150 vs one dealer rob replacement was the same cost. Surge protectors. Ever buy an electronic like a fridge or TV and the salesman tries to throw in a surge protector? It's because they buy it at $2.50 and sell it for over $40. Source I'm the salesman.